This problem is interesting for how little information is given. Uh, we only know that uh, dy dx equals 2x minus y, and that differential equation is all that we have to work with. Um, but what's to be required uh, will involve slope fields, the definition of the second derivative, uh, being able to understand how to find relative extrema, and how to solve a somewhat off-the-beaten-path differential equation. So let's just jump in. We have dy dx is 2x minus y, and now we're asked to sketch a slope field at a few given points. Well, again, all we do with the slope field is we create short line segments at selected points, in this case in the Cartesian plane, such that the slope of these short line segments corresponds to the uh, first order linear uh, differential equation that we're given. So let's just uh, try this. We have uh, dy dx, let's calculate it at 1, at uh, 0 comma 1. So at 0 comma 1 we have 2 times 0 minus 1, that's going to be negative 1. And so we just draw a short line segment right through that point with roughly the slope of, of negative 1. We go up to 0 comma 2 and um, Putting in, those, putting in those coordinates, we get a slope of negative 2, and so we try to indicate that here with a slope of negative 2, that line segment. Uh, let's finish this off where x is still 0, but now y is negative 1, and so the slope is going to be positive 1, and that's what our short segment indicates. Moving over to where x is 1 for those same y values, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 2 gives 0, so there's a short segment with a slope of 0. 2 minus 1 is 1, and so we'll give this a slope of 1. That's about right. Uh, we're not asked to find the point here, but here we have y equal to negative 1, so we have 2 plus 1, that's going to give us a slope of 3, so that's relative to these other ones we've been drawing. It's got to be fairly steep. That's really all that they are looking for there, just that you understand the basic concept of calculating the slope at a given point and indicating it with a short line segment with that same slope. All right, so now we have to find the second derivative of y with respect to x, uh, given that we already have the first derivative. And so we're going to write that as 2x minus y. And what do we get from that? We just get um, uh, 2 minus dy dx, but we know what uh, dy dx is. We have it before, and so we can substitute in that it's 2 minus 2x minus y, or just to simplify a little bit. Okay. Now, that's the second derivative of y with respect to x. We're asked now to say something about the solution curves of the differential equation in the second quadrant. And the real observation, specifically we're asked to talk about the concavity. And really all we do is um, observe that in Q2 uh, x is always less than zero y is always greater than 0, and so d2y dx2 is always going to be greater than 0, so the concavity is positive. 
Again, notice every term in this expression is positive in the second quadrant, and therefore the sum of them must be greater than zero. In part C, they want to know the particular solution uh, f of x such that what do we have f of 2 equals 3 so that simply means that we know that a solution to this differential equation which includes this point is f of x and they want to know whether that function that unique function has a relative min, max, or neither at the point x equals 2 and therefore uh, more generally at the point 2 comma 3. So what do we know about relative mins and maxes? Um, f prime has to change sign. at a relative min or max. In this case, um, f prime of x and In this case, f prime of x, y, has to equal 2x minus y at that point, 2 comma 3. So we have to evaluate at 2 comma 3. And that's going to give us uh, 4 minus 3 equals 1. Uh, so because f prime at the um, given value is not zero, nor is it undefined. f prime cannot be changing a uh, sign. And so answer is neither. Now, um, you may have thought that what you really needed to do was check the second derivative, use the second derivative test to see whether it was a min or a max, but the second derivative test is not meaningful unless you're evaluating it at a critical point, and we've already determined this is not a critical point. So, uh, the answer is neither. Okay, finally D, which uh, apparently has already, uh, just three days after the exam, garnered a fair amount of attention because of its slightly unusual nature. And that is, uh, students are very familiar with the concept of finding a solution to a differential equation uh, using the method of separation of variables and applying an initial condition. It has to be understood that there are many, many uh, different types of differential equations and solving by separation of variables is only one method that can be used. Um, it's simply the uh, simplest method for uh, fairly complex uh, simple differential equations. It, it's the method that's taught in BC Calculus, but the fundamental concept of solving a differential equation uh, should be or is taught as well and that is we simply need to find a function that's consistent with the differential equation and any initial uh, conditions that are given. I put boundary there in parentheses because someday when you grow up they'll call them boundary conditions. So what do we have? We have dy dx equals 2x minus y, but we are told that the solution we're seeking 
has the form y equals mx plus b, where m and b are constants. Uh, so thinking about this for a minute, it suggests that m, of course, is the slope of this suggested solution to the differential equation. And therefore, m being a constant has to be the same as dy dx. So we have uh, m equals dy dx. And so we have m equals 2x minus y. So now we know that, you know, we can rearrange. And we get y equals 2x minus m. Well, we now have a uh, solution to this differential equation. We don't yet know m, and yet we do know the slope uh, is 2. And that is, in fact, just what the m was. So, so m must be the slope equal to 2 and therefore finally y has to equal 2x minus 2. Just a little bit quirky but it all hangs together. We have found a y of the form 2x, uh, mx plus b, and if you think about what it really means, it's that, it's simply that if you were to continue this slope field, starting with this initial condition down here at, uh, I'm sorry, at negative 2, that you would get a line that has a slope of 2 and starts out at negative 2, and well, this isn't drawn very well, but it would obviously go right through here. And this would be the solution to your differential equation. y equals 2x minus 2.